So here's an update. I uh, dug out the old water pipe was corroded and that's a two inch sleeve that the new tube can go through. But I, I didn't, I have too much stuff in the front lawn to dig up the front lawn right now. So what I did was I just buried it underground and then over here I buried this two by four which goes to the cap. So in the future I'll be able to follow that two by four down and find the, the sleeve to run the tube through. Over here I buried a uh, one and a quarter inch conduit underground which feeds over to the right hand side of the doorway on the garage. Over here. And as you can see I've got a string on it. Right here is a string up into it. And there's a shallow sweep on each end. Goes underground. So hopefully the electrician can run me some wires and I'll be able to put in a sub panel to the garage through that. I've got all the rebar in, all the block done. We're currently cutting little jigs to hold the uh, anchor bolts. I'm using 12 inch long, half inch diameter galvanized J bolts. And uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but I'm wire tying it. Ugh. Right there. So I'm wire tying it to the rebar and there's the J going down into the core and all this is going to be buried in concrete and I have equal travel of the thread above and below the nut so if there's any wiggle room that I need to play with it's okay so code says that I need one of these within a foot of the corner so I have that I need it within a foot of seams and no more than six feet apart so I got another one here, no more than six feet apart. And I've been checking my framing plans to make sure that I don't put it right where a joist needs to lay. All the sand's compacted, it's ready to go, and uh, have some wire welded mesh over there uh, for just some crack reinforcing, whatever. So we're prepping ourselves and concrete's coming in, I don't know, like five hours or so. Well, we've got the cement truck here. We've already filled all of the cores. And now he's putting it into the middle of the house where we'll have our concrete slab. We have David right there. We have Preston and John in the back. And then my dad here. Helping to scree the screed, the uh, um, concrete blocks there, the lawn beams. Set up. We're all set. So we'll screed the whole floor and then use the float to uh, make sure everything's all even and air pockets are out. And we'll have a nice concrete slab here for our call space. So we're getting closer. We should start framing uh, in a day or two. So have this nice weather continue. So you've got the concrete down and now David is floating the concrete after we've screed it to make sure it's level. And what's the technique here, David? This is a bowl float. Technique is stop screwing up. <laughs> Pretty much goes at one angle when you go out. And then when you come back, another angle so that it's nice and smooth. We'll do that all on the, uh, the base of our crawl space. Yay.